Oh, uh, what is going on now? Well, we are in a cave and there are ghosts. The ghosts, they are shy or they are ghosts. It's one or the other. But can you be a shy ghost? No. Either you are a ghost or you are shy. So people who are shy, well, do not worry if you die, for you will not be a ghost. You'll just disappear forever. This looks like the continuation. It looks like this door might have the content I need for a best winning novel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with science it up and see if there's anything of progress on this door. Or if it is merely a door. Or if it is merely a mole. Well, I don't know how I feel about a mole. I mean, a mole is a mole. It is not a very smart animal. It's not a very agile animal. And it's not very popular with the ladies. So why would you want to be a mole? That is a question for the centuries. Philosophers have been wondering that for like years and have no wonder, like I have no reason why to wonder why that is because to me it's probably obvious that if you're a mole you're, you're not a person really worth thinking about. Not that I want to be racist or anything but there's a reason why they're not popular amongst people in the mafia. Hey there ghost man, you are now the dead ghost man. How can you kill a ghost? A question asked by Mario 3 itself, you'll recall, in the first ghost house. Mario 3, Mario World, uh, was quite a philosopher's enigma because you got guys and uh, lots of adventure here, lots of fun and adventure. Why are there so many locked doors in this environment of ghosts? Why would ghosts worry about their possession when they are already dead? Although, even though they are dead, they are obviously still existent and thus probably do enjoy the act of consume, well, of consume, not consummation, but of consuming, like, products. I just got burned by a cannibal there, but there is the key. So in the end, does it really matter? It's like, oh man, gotta dodge a thing. So I just dodge a thing, and there's, like, the last flower, but I mean, I'm missing, th oh, I'm only missing three red coins, though. And, uh, two of them are there. I'm missing what red coins, though? Do you know where that coin is? Okay, I cannot lick your chin, Mr. Ghostman, and that makes me a lot of sad. My sadness is ultimate. Man, uh, you are in a way. You're a little family there. It so disgusts me so much. Ghosts moving in, stealing on your cut cutleries, you know. Okay, so I got one red coin left, and I get the feeling that I just flat out missed it somewhere, and that is kind of... Oh, unless it's somewhere in this room, that that would be nice. Oh yeah, look at that. See, I'm not even saying words. No, I did miss a red coin somewhere. This is not a state of happiness I am having right now. Oh, pumpernickel, man. Oh, wow. Well, in the level, it is quite big. So this boss, you need to do this all day long, basically. Actually, the presence of rounded corners will make this interesting until I realize that what you really want to do is you go here and you wait. This is the best part of the battle, is you get to just sit around here and wait and you go like, Oh man, I missed. It's pretty great. So then you go like, Oh man, I missed. It's pretty great. Remember when in my Super Marissa world I fought Yuko? Um, this is basically the fight. It's the exact same fight, only you're not as desperately fragile as in, in Super Marissa world, so it's not as stressful. Um, either that. So yeah, basically this is what you do. I don't know why he gets so big, but he got so big, so much big that he blew up. But still, red coin somewhere. I have absolutely no idea where, and so I'm gonna be learning for it, because you see, you see here, it's not good enough. 99 is not good enough. No, no luck whatsoever. I went through the level again, and I... Well, I'm sure someone's gonna answer that question for me, but now I'm just kind of running out of time. IRL, so uh, that'll be it for today. Sorry about the anticlimactic there, guys.